If we want to control the progress of technology, it's better if it advances at a manageable pace. This gives society enough time to understand and adapt to it. The automobile is a perfect example. It has evolved rapidly over the past century, but we've also been able to implement safety standards along the way. Although there has always been a slight delay, we've managed to keep up with the standards. However, considering the expected rate of change in the next decade, this outcome seems increasingly unlikely. Over the past four decades, the internet has become one of the most revolutionary platforms for innovation in human history. The world has transformed digitally, and this tangible realm has evolved rapidly. The rapid development has led to the emergence of widely used services and commercial enterprises, driven by the advancement of computation power and declining costs. Just think about the potential impact of Moore's Law in the next 10 years. If it holds true, computing power could increase a hundredfold for the same price. This fact alone suggests the possibility of extraordinary outcomes. Innovation in the real world can accelerate at a digital pace, operating in near real time and minimizing obstacles. This allows for nimble experimentation in adaptable domains, where perfect simulations can be translated into tangible products. The iterative process of learning, evolving, and improving becomes achievable at unprecedented rates, revolutionizing the previously rigid and costly world of physical matter. Physicist Cesar Hidalgo emphasizes that the significance of matter lies in the information it contains. Take a Ferrari as an example. Its value is not solely in its raw material, but in the intricate construction and form that store complex information. It's the arrangement of atoms that makes it appealing. By combining a powerful computational base with AI, advanced robotics, and 3D printing, we can improve our ability to design, manipulate, and manufacture real-world products with greater speed, precision, and creativity. Artificial intelligence is already revolutionizing the search for new materials and chemical compounds. For example, scientists have used neural networks to generate innovative lithium configurations, which could greatly advance battery technology. Additionally, AI has played a crucial role in designing and constructing a car using state-of-the-art 3D printing technology. In some cases, the resulting product showcases an organic and highly efficient form that resembles nature's own creations, surpassing what human minds could conceive. Today's models have the ability to generate detailed images from just a few words. In the future, these models could create new compounds or even entire organisms based on natural language prompts. The design of these compounds could be improved through self-run experiments, similar to how AlphaZero improved in chess and Go through self-play. Quantum technologies, millions of times more powerful than classical computers, could facilitate the process at a molecular level. This concept is known as hyper-evolution which provides an agile and iterative platform for creation. This evolution will not be limited to specific, predictable, or easily manageable areas. It will spread to every corner. Despite common belief, advancements in healthcare actually slowed down during the recent lull in physical world innovation. The process of discovering new drugs became more challenging and expensive. Automated drug discovery is an exciting field of AI that offers hope in our current reality. Using AI techniques, we can explore countless molecules to find new treatments. In 2020, a groundbreaking achievement was made when an AI system analyzed 100 million molecules and discovered Halicin, the first machine-learned-derived antibiotic. This breakthrough showcases the limitless potential of AI in transforming medicine. However, there is another aspect to consider. As researchers aim to uncover these beneficial compounds, they came across an intriguing question. What if they shifted their focus from finding remedies to identifying harmful substances? In an experiment, 
they instructed their AI molecule generator to search for poisons. Surprisingly, within just six hours, it successfully generated over 40,000 molecules with toxicity levels comparable to the most lethal chemical weapons, such as Novichok. In the field of drug discovery, AI is positioned to have a significant impact, especially in an area that presents numerous opportunities for different applications. Dual-use technologies have applications in both civilian and military domains. During World War I, the synthesis of ammonia was initially seen as a solution to a global hunger, but it also enabled the production of explosives and the development of chemical weapons. These technologies have a dual nature, serving as both tools and weapons. This concept highlights the general nature of technologies, with some carrying a higher risk. They can be used for various purposes, from beneficial to harmful, often leading to unpredictable outcomes. However, the real problem is that dual use is not restricted to frontier biology or nuclear reactors. Most technologies have both military and civilian applications or potential. In fact, the majority of technologies are dual use in some way. Moreover, the more advanced the technology, the more we need to be concerned about its numerous potential applications. The upcoming wave of technologies is incredibly powerful because of their inherent generality. A more fitting term for these technologies is omni-use, which highlights their versatility and wide applicability. Omni-use technologies like steam or electricity have significant societal impacts and broader implications compared to more specialized technologies. If AI truly represents the new electricity, then similar to electricity, it will become an indispensable utility that permeates and empowers various aspects of daily life, society, and the economy. It will be a ubiquitous and all-encompassing general-purpose technology. However, managing something of this magnitude will be immensely challenging. Controlling and regulating an unconstrained and multifaceted technology is far more difficult than a narrowly focused, single-task technology confined to a limited niche with minimal dependencies. Over time, technology tends to become universal. This means that the next wave can be used for harmful purposes, regardless of its original intentions. The development of civilian technologies has important implications for national security. Anticipating the various historical uses in this all-encompassing wave is now more challenging than ever before. The idea of a new technology being used for different purposes is not new. However, what makes this upcoming wave different is how quickly it can be integrated. Its global reach, its modularity for interchangeable components, and most importantly, its immense power and wide-ranging potential for applications. The upcoming wave amplifies the versatile features and varying effects, which are inherent characteristics of all technologies to some degree. However, autonomy is different. In the past, technology has been seen as merely a tool, but what if the tool becomes alive? Autonomous systems have the ability to interact with their environment and make decisions on their own without needing immediate human approval. This new era of autonomy brings about a world where continuous human intervention and oversight gradually becomes less necessary. As humans, we face a distinct challenge, the risk of being left behind by new inventions. Many technologies and systems are becoming more complex, surpassing the comprehension of any single person. From quantum computing to other advanced technologies, we are constantly pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. The paradox of the upcoming wave is that its technologies are often complex, yet still within our ability to develop and use. In the field of AI, neural networks are advancing towards autonomy, but we can't fully explain their inner workings. It's challenging to precisely guide someone through the decision-making process of why an algorithm produced a specific prediction. 
There has been too much focus on distant scenarios of AGI, neglecting the immediate challenges of the upcoming wave. However, it is important to acknowledge that if and when AGI-like technologies do appear, they will present containment issues of unparalleled magnitude. Humans currently dominate our environment due to our intelligence. However, it is possible that a more intelligent entity could surpass us in domination. According to Stuart Russell, an AI researcher, this is known as the gorilla problem. Despite gorillas being physically stronger and having more mental faculties than humans, they are the ones endangered or confined in zoos. In contrast, we, with our comparatively weaker muscles but remarkable intellect, are the ones who impose containment. When looking at the long-term perspective, it is understandable that those who concentrate on AGI scenarios have concerns. It is debatable that a superintelligence, by its very nature, would be difficult to control and contain. The concept of an intelligence explosion refers to the point where an AI can continuously improve itself, making progress in faster and more efficient ways. The future is uncertain. The point at which artificial intelligence surpasses our control and the resulting consequences still elude our understanding. The timeline and achievement of full autonomy, as well as imparting them with awareness and alignment to our values, assuming we can even agree on a set of values, all remain mysterious. In its most profound forms, the upcoming wave has the potential to challenge humanity's position as the dominant species. Homo technologicus may face threats from its own creation. The real question is not whether this wave is coming, as its presence is undeniable. One simply needs to observe its early stages. Given risks like these, the real question is, why it's so hard to see it as anything other than inevitable.